Hello and welcome to the Kinetic Hosting YouTube channel. My name is T or Chris. Today we'll be going over how you can get on the Rust server list, or maybe I should rephrase that to how you can increase your chances to get on the Rust server list. Now, the way the Rust server list works can be a little bit frustrating, especially if you're trying to build up a public server of which getting on the list is kind of a necessity. Uh, but the way the Rust server list works is it only can list 5,000 servers at any time. So in order for your server to show up at all, you need to wait for one of those servers to come offline or be delisted, otherwise you've got no chance. So this guide will help the chances of you appearing on that list once a server has been delisted. There's no guarantee that you'll actually ever show up on that list if you're really, really unlucky. But these steps should hopefully help you get a greater chance over maybe some other servers on appearing on that list. So first things first, you'll need a dedicated IP. Now, if you're with Kinetic Hosting, your server will come with a dedicated IP by default. If you're with another host or if you're hosting it on your own box, make sure you've got a dedicated IP. That's an IP that's just for your Rust server. Nothing else. That's all it should be for. So you may need to contact your host if you're not sure about this, if you're not with Kinetic Hosting. But again, if you're Kinetic Hosting, you've got one of these. Next thing you make sure you do is you've got your server updated to the latest version. Now, again, if you're with Kinetic Hosting, every time you press the restart button or you power off your server, your server will check for the latest Rust update. If you've got a lower update, it will then install the latest update automatically on reboot for you. So you don't need to worry about making sure it's updated. It'll always be updated on reboot. Just if a new Rust update comes out, just make sure you restart your server to make sure you've updated to it. Likewise, if you're running something like Oxide, which you can install here just by pressing that button and rebooting, um, just restart your server. And again, they'll always pull the latest version of the Oxide mod for you. Next thing is we wanna make sure that we have the server name set correctly. So this actually should say name at the top there. It's a little bit of a bug that'll be fixed in, um, well, it'll be fixed a little bit later. Uh, so we just wanna make sure we got a good name here we don't want just a rust server or anything like that it needs to be a short short s name something that's a bit descriptive um not stupid long um that just helps people not only understand what your server is once it shows up on the list but also helps your server show up on the list if you've got a really 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 long name in there or something that's just a complete mess of characters then it won't show up on the list let's try and keep it to fairly clear english letters um and just keep it short sweet to the point and that's kind of really it. The only other tip we can give you is to um, make sure that your server is online as much as possible. If you keep restarting your server over and over and over again, try and appear upon the list. And that's kind of really it. I know it's kind of a short and to the point tutorial. It just covers a couple of things, but it's kind of it. A lot of it is just waiting it out and being patient. So in the vein of being patient, make sure you don't keep restarting your server in the hopes of showing up on that list. Keep your server online, keep your server up as long as possible. Um, there's a few other little bits and guides over on help.kinetichosting.net forward slash rust forward slash list. I'll put a link in the description down below there. We'll also update that over time if any other like things come to mind um, or get discovered that can help you show up on the list. So make sure you go check that link. I'll link it down below. If you've got a rust server and you're now wondering how to connect to it, if you can't go onto the list, that's pretty simple. All you can do is go into game and press F1. And then we're just gonna do client dot connect and you see it's come up there and then here you'll just put your ip in and your port and if you're on kinetic hosting uh we can just go back to here again and you can see our ip and our port is up here your port probably won't be this it'd be something different anyway that's all you can really do to try and get up on the list i, I hope this has helped there's not a lot of tips there but some key ones are important making sure you keep it updated keep your mods updated short and sweet to the point name and making sure you've got a dedicated ip are all very important to make sure you show up on that list anyway guys that's it for today uh, catch you in another tutorial thank you for choosing kinetic hosting